everybody! This is the two cans of the attacking variety here, back for Let's Play Majora's Mask. Last episode, we finally beat the Great Bay Temple, and we got that fully taken care of. And in this episode, we're gonna go to the Great Fairy and collect our prize from um, getting all the Great Fairy shards. So that is really awesome. I cannot, personally, I cannot believe we are this far into the game now. I mean, in all honesty, I've never expected to get this far into the game, and now we're here, and I'm so happy. Like, seriously, this is so awesome, I can't even explain it. Okay, so down here, I'm not even sure what's in this chest. I just saw a rock, and I'm like, let's blow it up. And now we have, I'm guessing, oh, no, bomb shoes! I was expecting rupees, but have we gotten bomb shoes yet in this game? I know we've done bomb shoe bowling, but I don't think we've actually had bomb shoes in our inventory. It only gave us one bomb shoe? What the hell, man? Jeez, cut this deck of dick with our bomb mask. That was an accident. Should put our, I'm gonna put our bunny hood on. I like being a bunny, because first off, we're fast, and second off, Link is like a little cutie five-year-old wearing it. Okay, so now the Great Fairy is all the way over there. This is probably the most annoying Great Fairy to get to in this game, but we have to do it, so let's hook on, to, hook on to this palm tree. Okay, and, oh, you damn, you damn crow! Man, I'm attacking crows now. Let's change my username to attacking crows. Are the crows attacking me or am I attacking the crows? Both at the same exact time. What the fuck now? Okay, so let's just go along these palm trees. And oh my gosh, why do I never seem to start my timer? Like, really? I, it's like my worst thing to do. I always, I always have it set up and ready to go when I first start off, but I always forget to start my actual timer. Oh well, I'll live. Okay, let's put our bomb mask on and explode. I want to explode this rock too. I'm gonna wait. Okay, finally. Now we can make that rock go boom too. I had to make that one go too because I'm too OCD to leave it not there. Okay, take off our bomb mask so we don't look ridiculous during this cutscene. And let's give our stray fairies back to the Kesha. The purple Kesha, I believe. It's a stray fairy tornado and it's Kesha! And she has purple hair this time. And there's her ass crack. There's her hooker boots. There's her boobs that are so big that they could probably take out a whole army. I'm sure her boobs are like more strong than all the soldiers combined in 300. Seriously. Oh, courageous young one, I am the great fairy of courage. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered state to normal. As thanks, I shall lend you my strength. <laughs> I want the strength of your boobs. You could probably hold up like 700 pounds, not pounds, tons with those things. They're like, oh my gosh. Okay, and now our hearts are now outlined in white. So she just made our hearts look prettier? How does that help us? Ta-da! And now Link is like flying like Mario Galaxy style. Okay, your defense has been strengthened. Enemies are do now have as much damage as before. Okay, so our hearts aren't just pretty. We are now twice as strong as we were before. Which means we don't have just 11 hearts now. We have freaking 22 hearts, which is probably, that is the most useful stray fairy in this game. The second one gave us twice the magic, and that's nice. The first one was pretty much useless, and even the fourth stray fairy seems kind of useless in my opinion. Put my Zora mask on. Don't want to swim all slow like and stuff. Put that on. I need my hook shut out. That's what I'm about to do in a second. Needs it. Yeah, so the second stray fairy gave us um, twice as much magic. This one gave us twice as many hearts, which that's the most helpful. The next one doesn't give us that much of a helpful item or such, but I guess it's still cool. The first one just gives us a stronger spin attack, which I could probably w live without. I mean, the spin attack is nice and all, but you know. You know what? I can just spin attack on this like like. Haha, <laughs> you die, you fuck. Yeah, turn into a big pile of mush. Um, what do you give me? Doesn't it give you, like, red rupees? Or blue rupees, okay. I really don't- Oh my gosh, leave her. I hate the sound these things make. They're like, mm, They sound like Homer Simpson about to eat a donut or something. Okay, so now that we have our hook shot, we could have done this before the temple, but I decided not. Shit! Oh my gosh, that thing scared the sh Oh my gosh. Oh. Give me a heart attack, why don't you? So now that we have our hook shot, we can now hook shot up to these trees. We could have done this before the temple, but, you know, I decided not to because I spent, like, 15 parts in between the two temples, and I was like, I just need to get into a temple already, so that's what I did. And now that we, um, have the third temple done, in all honesty, 
We can almost go to every single area in this whole entire game. Let's grab onto this tree chode. It's really fat. Chode tree. <laughs> Anyways, so now that we have a... Uh, whoa, there's a treasure chest up here? What is this? A red rupee. Oh, that's nice. That's... It just said that's pretty nice, so okay. Yeah, so now that we have every... Now that we have that temple done, grab onto another show tree, we can do pretty much everything we want. Like, everything's accessible. I think the only thing that we can do is at this very moment, we can't go into the fourth temple because we don't have what we need to get into there. And can we... Okay, we can't grab onto the vines. But we can grab onto the chode. And now there's a secret cave up here. But it's not really a cave. This is one of my favorite areas in the game. It's really cool. The Waterfall Rapids. This is actually a mini game, but it's my favorite mini game in this whole entire game. I don't know why. It's kind of it's kind of like the Dompe race back in Oc Ocarina of Time. But not exactly the same thing. So let's go ahead and jump right in. And talk to this beaver. If you L target onto him, he goes down to the bottom. He gets a little bundle of wood, I'm guessing, to build a dam. Five be damned. This, for some reason, whenever I think of beavers, I think of those beavers from um, The Lady and the Tramp. I don't know why. And for some reason, the only thing I can really think of when I'm doing Let's Plays is Disney movie references. I don't know why. Okay. Dude, what the hell is wrong with this beaver? What the hell? He's like a Chia pet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and look at his face. It's almost like that one emoticon. Yeah, that one. That's so awesome. Then he's like trying to hypnotize or something. Some, uh, you again? Why do you say again? We haven't even seen you before. You can't fool me with your green clothes. You want an empty bottle, don't you? You never learn your lesson. What lesson? Coo coo coo. Okay, I'll give you one. But only if you can swim through all the rings in the river in under two minutes. So do you want to try? Sure, let's do this. There's a total of 20 rings you must swim through in the right order for it to count. Swim through the rings. That's flashing. I'll show you the way, so follow me and don't get separated. And do that voice makes me need to take a drink. Just drank some lemon Gatorade. You know, lemon is sign up court, sort of a weird flavor. I mean, you never really see anything lemon flavored. Wait, shoot. I'm the stupidest person ever. Lemonade? Duh. Oh my god, I'm so damn stupid. Saying nothing has a lemon flavor. Lemonade. Then there's Sprite, too. Oh my gosh. I take that statement back. Anyways. So what we have to do is we have to swim through all these 20 rings on this course. I'm not exactly sure what to say about it. Um, you need to go through the flashing ring. I'm pretty sure if you go miss a ring and go through a ring that's not flashing, um, it makes you have to restart. But if you um, miss a ring, don't worry. You can actually turn around and go back through it. But the only thing downside about that is the time limit. You have to waste a lot of time if you miss a ring. And for some reason, I can just like imagine this um, this <laughs> this beaver letting letting in a giant shark and just like making Link have to swim through a giant cloud of diarrhea. Oh my gosh! Why did I even think that? Oh my, that would be so gross. Ew, ew. Jeez. This isn't Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. Oh my god. All right. So we're almost done. Once you get to by this like, gigantic round section, that means you're almost done. And as you can see, this is really easy. I mean, I'm not even thinking about it. I'm just doing it. I'm just saying stuff and not really even paying attention. Choose that moon. See that moon up there? He's getting big. But not big that way, though. It's just big, not, like, size. Not that kind of size. Oh my gosh, never mind. Uh, that was perfect. That's not good. Uh-oh. This beaver reminds me of Shane Dawson's older brother. I have no clue why, but it does. Did you call me pretty little brother? <laughs> I called you big brother. Actually. What? An empty bottle? Yeah, an empty bottle. Uh, don't worry, little brother. Those empty bottles are our treasure. I can't give you one just because you be my little brother. We can't just give you one. I'll give you one after the race once you're more against me. So, will you try? Sure. The rules aren't the same, but this time there are 25 rings. Don't fall behind. I'm not sure why I made him, like, have a cracky voice. <laughs> Who is Yoshi to Mario? No, low blow. Okay. Shit, go down, go down, go down. What the hell? My, oh my gosh, that was close. Okay. 
so this one is I'm gonna leave this one in this race in because it's almost the same exact thing except um, there's more rings but it's not like the a longer course or anything it's just five more rings put in between the rings there were beforehand there's only one part that's a little bit more difficult but it's not by much and is it just me or does this um like mini game reminds you of that one level off of Super Mario Galaxy 2, you know where you have to go through that giant underwater chasm holding onto the green shell or whatever? And there's like one me like metal comment coin thing, like on a side segment. I don't know, but it reminds me a lot about this. Shit, crap, go in the link, go in the hole. That's what she said. Yeah, but this reminds me a lot of that level. I'm not exactly sure the name. If you know the name of the level, leave in the comments. That'd be awesome. I've already fell behind. Shit. That's not good. That's not good. How did it feel when Chris Brown beat you, Rihanna? Not good. Not good. Okay. I am doing awful. Goddamn awful. Luckily, he slows down if you get too far away. I guess this also is like the butler race that we, um, had back in the swamp. If you, if you haven't played Ocarina of Time and done the Dompe race. So this is sort of like that too. Just like a water version. It's an aqua version. So after this um, episode, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do next, because there's so much we can do now. I'll, think, I'll give you guys a choice. Next, should we get um, three more heart pieces and get our 12th heart, or should we do the spider house? I'll let you guys, so leave in the comment what you guys want me to do next, and I'll do what you tell me to. And also, I'll probably be gone for the next um, few days. Am I, not, I don't think I'm going to be able to upload Project Stingray this Saturday or Majora's Mask Sunday, because I'm going to Colorado with my family. But there might be a small chance I'm not going, so I'm not exactly sure. But if I don't upload Saturday or Sunday, that is why. Anyways, he did it, little brother. Yeah, he did it, big brother. There's nothing we can do, little brother. Uh, this is a mess, big brother. And we got our fourth empty bottle. And this game, I don't think I've mentioned, but there's six empty bottles, unlike most Zelda games where there's only four. We underestimated you. Anyways, yeah, there's six bottles, and that gives us four. So, I mean, look at this. We are making some killer progress, guys. Look at all these items. Look at all... We almost have all the masks. We have more than half, and that's awesome. I'm just... I'm so ecstatic about this Let's Play. I can't believe I'm actually going to finish it. And I'm, I love how successful it's going. I'm like, you guys seem to like it a lot. And I'm sorry I'm not, we're not uploading Mario Saturday. I know you guys like it a lot, but I just couldn't. Anyways, um, you can't, there's actually a heart piece you can get th from these guys if you race them one more time. So I'm gonna cut this out because it's pretty much the same exact thing except it's just a little bit shorter of a time limit. I'm taking another drink. Jeez, I'm so thirsty today for some reason. Gatorade is so damn good. And I don't know about you guys, but this minigame was one of those things that, as a kid, it was really, really difficult for me. But now that I've beaten this game so many times, I could probably do this with, like, my eyes closed. It's that easy. But it's, like, weird, because when I was younger, I had such difficult with, like, Mario Sunshine, Mario 64, Zelda, and everything. And nowadays, I can just do these things with, like, my hands tied behind my back and my feet, like, above my head, upside down. It's, like, crazy, like, how much I improve. I'm not, I don't even know, it's like the first time you play video games, they're ten times harder for some reason. Anyways, I'm cutting this out, why am I still talking, I'll see you guys at the end. Now you do have to race both beavers. Shit, 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 crap, crap, no, no, hurry up, hurry up, blink, 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 hurry up, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, 12 seconds, 11, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, okay, I made it, that was okay. <laughs> Lots of overreaction for nothing. It's a formidable opponent, little brother. You're all just talk, eh, big brother. If we give him that to him, I wonder if he'll leave us alone, little brother. Yeah, I wanna quit, big brother. And we get a heart piece, a piece of heart, a piece of shot. Okay, collect four to be heart container, blah, blah, blah. Okay, please let it be over. Now, I think after that, you can, I think you can race him again, I'm pretty sure. But I'm pretty sure you don't get anything for it this time. So I would say that this is a good stopping point for this episode. So yeah, um, next episode, tell me, should we do the spider house next? Or should 
I get some more heart pieces. I'm still sort of torn on what I should do. Okay, that was awesome, Swan Dive Link. You are so spectacular. And I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Majora's Mask. Bye.